Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. So today I have my What's in My Work Bag video and kind of a review on the Dagny Dover 13 inch tote and the mini tote. Um, I have already posted a What's in My Bag video showing the tiny tote, um, which is a tiny little black bag that I use for like daily errands and just like to go to the cinema and things when I don't need a lot. And um, I discovered this company when I was searching for a work bag because for the longest time I have not found a nice one, um, one that could hold like as much stuff that I need. And I found Dagny Dover and was really, really happy with the company and the price and the quality of the materials. So I wanted to show you what I carry in my work bag and also kind of compare the two. Um, before I send the one off. So originally I had got the 13 inch tote. So this is what it looks like. It is a nice big bag um, and it's in the shade Bleaker Blush, which is a sort of, it has a blush tone to it, but it's a taupey, sort of a taupey pink color, but not too pink where it looks like it or it's kind of like hard to wear and um, it's just neutral enough so I was originally going to get black and then I thought this is the time to kind of have a little bit more fun and have it a little bit more unique and stand out when there are lots of bags like if it's not in my locker they're like on the table we all put our bags down in the residence lounge so um, even though they're all very different everything is black whereas this one now is taupe, it's just easy to kind of grab and go and I just like the compartments in it, I like the way you could organise it and um, I just really like the strength of the bag as well. It holds a lot. So the 13 inch tote I think is perfect for those who go to uni. This will be fabulous, college, uni, you know, high school. This is the bag because it is big but it's not too big and it holds a lot of stuff and it is also really good for those who have like that sort of nine to five um, business job or travel a lot on the aeroplane and kind of need to put their computers in there and like their iPads and all the electronics with the charger etc etc. So I think this bag is perfect for you guys if you are into that. So I will show you what it looks like inside. So it is heavy now, I will give you that. It is a strong, thick bag, and when you add stuff to it, it becomes weighty. But I don't expect anything different. I just know that if I'm gonna put that much in my bag, obviously it's going to be heavy. But it has strong, strong handles and long handles that you can easily put it over your shoulder and I don't feel the weight as much. It's distributed nicely. So um, in the front of the bag, it has this little, um, D ring here which you can attach your keys you can attach like a pom-pom to it um, and things like that or your ID so sometimes I have my ID on here and it has that like sort of elastic -y thing so um, I can just have it on my shoulders and then bring it up and swipe in to get into the building so but I took it off for you know privacy purposes so that's what I use it for um, so in the main compartment I have a folder which is big and bulky and you know heavy that's why I said it's really good for those of you who have meetings a lot or you go to school um, you can fit all your textbooks in here quite nicely so once that is gone then you can see the rest so you can see all the different compartments it's wonderful so let's start off with the back so it has two com um, dividers and this is the 13 inch tote so if you go on their website, you can see like whether your computer or your tablet fits perfectly. I have the MacBook Pro, um, I think it's the 11, 11.3 inch one, and I have an iPad and they fit it, fit perfectly. Not snugly, there's like lots of room, but no room to kind of fall out. So it is, both of them are like held together by this magnetic snapper thing here, which is really nice. So like in the event that it does fall over, your laptop and your tablet won't fall out. So in the back here would normally be my computer but I'm filming on it so I've just got my agenda and the back is so nicely lined and very padded and supportive. It's really cushiony, pillowy so it's good for like shock absorber. So I have my agenda there and then in the front one I have my mini iPad 
and um, generally I just take my iPad so um, I put it in there or in the back either way so that's really great then coming into the front part of it you have three little areas here to put pens um, I normally have pens in my white coat so I don't need to use them um, so in one of them I have a rollable perfume I like to carry like a small perfume just because throughout the day it's nice to have and freshen up um, yeah and sometimes I loop my um, glasses in the in this area too if I don't need them then um, on this side it's a bit hard with my um, computer recording on my computer but um, on this side I have like two little slots here and in the first one I have my notebook that goes with me everywhere it's just like a little mini notebook and then accompanying it has a pen so I can fit those two there really nicely and then in front of it is a section for where I hold a mirror just because this bag doesn't come with a mirror and uh, you know you need a mirror and sometimes I will stick a lip gloss or lipstick depending on what I'm wearing that day Coming to the main compartment, you've got nice room. I actually have a rolled up top. Um, when I'm working throughout the day and then if we go out somewhere after work, um, I like to change my top just because I'm either wearing a shirt or a work blouse and I'll always have like, either I'll have like a pair of jeans in here too or I'll just have the top and just change the top just to be fresh and you know whatever. And sometimes I even carry shoes in here. You can completely put shoes in a plastic bag and it fits there perfectly so if you are wearing heels throughout the day and then you're coming home and you're on transport or you have to walk or whatever you can carry an extra pair of shoes and um, you're good to go so you can swap that out as well then we have this sort of neoprene style which actually pops off if you don't want it to have more room in your bag and this here is wonderful. I love this. As soon as I saw this, I thought this was perfect. You can put your water bottle and it's really nice and big and um, contain your drink in this. Drinks, snacks, whatever. Sometimes I put peanuts in here. Sometimes I have my water bottle in here. Um, and also if it's raining and it's your umbrella gets really wet and you shake it off you can put the umbrella in here and it's neoprene so it's really like you know absorbs the water and also it's just a great place to kind of divide off the wet with the dry so you don't want to put something wet in your bag um, but like if you have nothing around with you you don't even have a plastic bag you can easily put your um, umbrella in there or if you have like your water bottle and it has like that condensation outside you don't want to put it in your bag because you don't want everything else to get ruined you just put it in here and it just kind of protects it and I love the way it's a pop it means you can wash it and you can remove it if you don't need it and um, to give more space I think this is just a really clever clever little thing to put in as you can see, I've just got my stethoscope in there. I like to keep my stethoscope separate as well just because I do clean it and wipe it per patient, but just, I don't know, after work and stuff, I like to keep it somewhere else and I don't like carrying it on me if I don't need to wear it. So um, this goes in there sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so now we've got it like that. So like if you didn't want the drink thing or the umbrella holder, whatever you want to hold, um, then you have more space, but because it's made of neoprene, it's very collapsible. So even if you do have stuff, it kind of you can just push it to the side and make more room. Then I have some Christmas cards because I take this to work with me every day, thinking that in my break I'll write an extra Christmas card or two. Um, I've got to, I've got to send my Christmas cards. And then I have my pencil case. This is just like a Hello Kitty. Uh, case that holds like my toothpaste and toothbrush and dental floss earlier I think it was like three dollars from Target then I took all that out using that and then now I'm using it as a pencil case so I take a whole load of pens and pencils when we have lectures and stuff like that then across the bag is this which is amazing I love this so you can completely take it off and use it as a wristlet for something or you know put it on the d-ring on the outside you know whatever you want to use it for but inside there's two little hooks and if you don't use it you can just put it completely across like so and it just kind of like holds there 
or what I do is I unhook one of them and I put my keys on here. So, um, and then I just let it drop or I hook it on the other side. And this is long enough to where if I'm holding my bag on my shoulders, again, I have my keys, I can unlock the door. And it's just an easy way to find my keys in a big bag. So coming on to this side is the little zip compartment and that's where I keep my wallet. So right now I just have a card holder. This is the rose gold Kate Spade one from Michelle. She gave me as part of our swap this year. And then in front are two big, nice wide pockets. One of them has headphones in it, which is unraveling. <laughs> and then same pocket has the um, charger for my phone. So that's what it looks like. And it just fits in so nicely. You could put your wallet in there as well and put some other valuables. Sometimes if I have to take my watches or my rings off, if I'm getting like a manicure and stuff, I'll put it in this one. That way it's zipped and it kind of hides with this over, over it and it's just a little bit more secure. And then in this compartment I have my toddy cloth which I use for my glasses and a pack of tissues and some gum. So these are like easy to reach type things. So then the bag has these little flaps here which you can zip up and that way it contains the bag nicely. It has two holes here um, but I generally don't have anything small enough that would fit through. And then it has the Dagny Dover sort of little logo here and really nice toggles and it's a brush gold which I love and then it has studs at the bottom to protect your bag. So that is the 13 inch tote. They have an even bigger one, a 15 inch tote, depending on what laptop or tablet you use. Um, but if you have a MacBook Air or anything 13 inch and under, you are absolutely fine. So that is that bag. Now, this is the bag actually I'm going to return because even though it's, it's fine and it worked well, in my locker, it didn't fit perfectly. I had to like smush it a little bit and it was really annoying me. And then also I didn't need to carry as much as I thought I would. So um, I decided to return this one and actually get the mini tote. So this is what the mini tote looks like. If I can kind of show you a comparison. Okay, so this is the 13 inch tote. This is the mini tote. So I'll have a video that I'll insert now that will show you a little bit of a difference. And there's not much to it. It's just a little bit more compact. And there's a few things that I want to mention that is a little bit, a little bit different. So the front part, as you can see, it has the uh, gold brush sort of hooks here or that flap down versus the 13 inch tote. So if you need to put it in somewhere, you can completely fold down the, the handles or put it on the side if you're going under like in a cabin or something. And then the front also has this here, which is a hidden zip compartment that actually goes all the way to this side. Sometimes put my phone in there um, just so I don't have to open my entire bag. Um, but apart from that, I've also put my clothes, so that top that I had, I've put that in there too, so it's not inside my work bag. But I'm not sure what else you want to put in there, but I like the fact that there's this extra compartment. Um, I think another thing I would do is probably in a plastic bag is put some flip-flops in there. So if after work I was gonna get a pedicure or something, I could put like some flat shoes on this side. So I think that's a good idea. So again, it has the really nice um, closure detail here with um, the logo and the zip. And then when you open it, it is pretty much identical to the 13 inch tote. So this is what it looks like right now. Let me empty out some stuff. Um, so in here, I just have this I think I got I don't know where I got this um, thing from, but I have like Quaker Oats and some creamer in here because sometimes at work um, they run out and I have breakfast at work. Um, this time you cannot fit a laptop in a compartment. There's no metallic, uh, I want to say metallic, magnetic strap 
um, like this 13 inch tote, but you can completely put your iPad in there or whatever tablet you have and it fits snug, like you still have loads of room and I really like that. Um, again, really cushiony and paddy. Then you have the same sort of area where you can put tissues. Um, this is where I normally put my mirror. This comes with the Dagny Dover Love and Care coated canvas, like how to treat it and what it is um, in there. And then instead of having three pen holders, you have two. You still get the neoprene like sort of water bottle holder or umbrella holder. And you still get this little strap here that I use for my keys. On this ring, I've also attached um, hand sanitizer. And then on this side, you have the little zip compartment again here, which is where I put my wallet. And then again, two sort of um, little compartment slots again. And actually from my tiny tote, I have added, and I've stuck to the ring inside, the card holder that comes with the tiny tote because I use and put my ID in there. There is no D ring outside on this one, but you could put your ID on one of these loops here. Um, but I've just decided to keep my ID in here um, because I don't need to take it out. It's just got like a little strip here so I can press the card onto the reader and it's fine. So that's what I've done. So not much difference. It's just a little bit more compact and you can still fit your computer in. It just doesn't have a separate sort of compartment. So in the main bit, I can completely put my computer in. Or if I still want to put it in this like bit more padded, I can sit it upright and it peaks up a little bit, but then I can't close my bag. But for work, I generally don't need to take my computer in. I just, if any time, will take my iPad and that's fine. Um, I still put a pair of shoes in here. I can still, I can sometimes put scrubs in here. Um, it, this just seemed a little bit better for me and for my lifestyle. Um, I, I thought this was great. So if you carry a lot of books, I would suggest the 13 inch tote, but still, if you only carry one textbook or two, you could totally, totally still have the mini tote. So if I was at uni and I still needed a folder, I can put it like this and it will just peek up. So you wouldn't be able to close your bag, but it will still fit fine. And the other thing that I really liked about the mini tote was the fact that it comes with the crossbody strap. Um, it is a big bag to have crossbody, um, but it is useful and I really like the detail um, that they provide. So that's the logo there um, because it's just that little bit of padding on your shoulder. So if I stand up and I'm five foot three, it hits me really, really well. And this is me on the not even on the shortest thing, and it goes up quite high. So depending on how tall you are, it will fit great. And you can put it crossbody, and it's just good like if you're on the tube or on the train or whatever, or traveling, you can just have it crossbody. It's out of the way, but big enough to reasonably carry your items. And again, studs at the bottom. So I hope you like that comparison and kind of sh showing you what I carry in my bag. I don't carry much, I don't need too much because half the stuff I'm carrying in my white coat anyway. Um, and then I added this little puff charm from Michael Kors, which I think is so cute. And it actually goes really well with the bag. It just adds something a little bit. And I really like the way that they do brushed gold. But the bleaker blush is so pretty. I also really, I was tossing between the black, the bleaker blush and the burgundy maroon color. But I think for all year round, I personally for work, especially love this bleaker blush color. It's just amazing. So. I think I'm really happy that I found this work bag because I just haven't found one that I really liked that was just simple, um, it was professional looking, really great quality, an amazing price. I have a coupon code and it's 20% off um, any of the items until the 25th of December and I think actually if you buy it a bag before the 18th of December you can get it in time for Christmas. So this would be a wonderful, wonderful Christmas present too. Um, I know that is something that I personally would be buying in the future for people when they have like their first job or their first like, you know, you know, acceptance to a university or something. I think it's just a really nice bag to give someone. 
um, and they will make good use out of it. So leave me questions down below, ask me anything you want and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you soon. Take care guys. Bye!